I think that's fucking stunning. Okay. I'm so obsessed. Look at that. Look at that. Hello everybody. Today we're getting ready to go to a concert. And nothing's been happening in my life. Life's been pretty like unbusy in terms of things happening, but I have just been busy with work. I've just been I started work full time and because of that I've just been busy trying to, you know, get used to like working full time because before that I was working like 20, 25 or 25 hours. Um, but now that my thesis is done, and if you haven't seen my thesis uh, vlog, you definitely should because I talk a lot about like kind of how my entire thesis writing journey was. And yeah, so now that all of that's done, I can just kind of enjoy life, kind of take it really slow. And that's what I've been doing. But today I am getting ready to go to a concert. I'm going to go see Panic at the Disco. Um, I haven't ever seen them before. I do like them. But my partner likes them a lot more than I do. I'm getting ready for that and I wanted to just shoot the process of that. I want to do like a, a bright colored like eye look and then just some makeup. So I thought I will bring you along on that. So let's get started. I still struggle a lot with finding like the best angle for makeups because I have a really small like dressing table and so fitting a light, a camera, like all of my makeup is just really hard. But this is the best angle that I could find and we're gonna work with that. So there's that. I'm using the NYX Ultimate Palette uh, for my eyes. I've had this thing for a very long time and I'm, I'm talking like years. So it's definitely probably expired, um, but we're not gonna talk about that. That's not why we're here today. We're here for a good time, not a long time. So don't really know what I'm doing. But I am wearing like a lilac outfit, so I want to do like lilac eyes. And so I'm just gonna figure out what to do with that information. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to figure out what to do. I don't know how this is gonna go. It could go really well or really badly. I'll zoom you in. I think that's good enough. And so yeah, I have hooded eyes, which means like I have to be, you know. Okay, that's not gonna show for sure because I have like I have pigmented eyelids so what we're gonna do is we're gonna brighten them up okay there's nothing wrong with that just using concealer to brighten my under eyes my upper eyes okay we can try now um it might just work I know I know this looks ridiculous but just hear me out Okay, I'm gonna use the lighter lilac, sorry. Okay, let's go. Just gonna pat that color in. I'm not blending anything right now. I'm just placing that color on my eyelid. So that looks good, okay? So we're just gonna blend that out and just start blending it out. And the thing with hooded eyes is there isn't much you can see. Like I will be working all that product into my eyelid and you will barely be able to see anything. Like that's all you're gonna see. So. You don't have a lot of real estate to work with. You kind of just get what you get, which is fine. Um, but we just want to make sure that whatever, you know, is visible looks good. You know what? I think that's cute. Okay, I know this looks crazy, but just wait. Like you just, just sit through the process and you'll see what I mean just clean up the rest okay it's fine clean up all the like um, areas where you think the white um, concealer is still there there's no problem with that there we go okay we will we'll fix it don't worry okay now to blend out kind of the edges and like make it a little bit more natural what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take 
some of my um, bronzer and I'm gonna just blend the outer area out right so it just looks a lot more natural because I have a lot of hyperpigmentation and that just means that um, it's quite hard sometimes to make the brighter colors blend in with my hyperpigmentation even if I use like a lighter shade of concealer um, underneath so that can be quite an issue sometimes but just gonna take that um, bronzer of mine and then just kind of blend in the outside just so we can get rid of that um, really bright white base that we used okay I like how that looks obviously I'm gonna like put something on the inner eyelid probably I'm gonna use the primer in areas where I really need that coverage I love my eyes already they're so cute okay we're gonna let that sit and then we're gonna come back to it until then I am gonna just brush my eyebrows I'm using the NYX glue um, gel whatever this is it's been really 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 good I mentioned it in another one of my videos the one where I did like a makeup haul um, and I've been using it since and it's been really good I've really been enjoying using it I do sometimes feel like there's maybe a little bit of residue left when I put it on so I do have to clean just around the edges a bit otherwise it looks really shiny but it does the job and looks nice and it's, it's relatively cheap compared to literally all the other options um, that are available on the market so I don't really want to touch my eyebrows just because they're kind of grown in anyway so I don't want to do too much but I'm just gonna line them a wee bit that's good see I already don't like it because I feel like even when I'm just doing a little bit it ends up making my eyebrows look like super thick because they're already like really thick and I don't like that so there we go okay my good old trusted nurse pot concealer okay you put them on my acne scars I'm not blending it in I'm just placing it on top when I'm using just this concealer and nothing else I would eventually blend it in um, but I'm actually gonna use a foundation on top of this so I'm not gonna blend this in just gonna push it into my skin I think that's good I'm gonna let that sit and then we're gonna go ahead with the foundation using the Mac studio finish studio fix fluid foundation but what I'm doing is I'm just pressing that foundation in I'm not moving anything around because I don't want to move the concealer that's at the bottom um, I just want to kind of work on top of that right that's why I'm pressing but yeah for any one of you who's like wondering what's life been like after my thesis finished it's actually been very overwhelming which is really funny because I thought that I was stressed out because of my thesis and I thought I would feel a lot better after having like finished my thesis and for the most part I do honestly but at the same time I've just been feeling really like out of place in terms of kind of what I want to do with my um, professional career I really like the job that I currently have but I've just been kind of exploring you know like other interests that I had and I never got to like get around to doing them for example I'm always like super interested in UX design 
and because I was always so busy with my masters and before that I was doing my bachelor's degree that I just never considered like taking that up professionally or like more seriously which is why you know I've just been thinking about like what I want to do now that I have like not I don't want to say all the time because I think I'm still trying to get used to the fact that I like work eight hours a day which is a lot when you really think about it that's a lot that's like and I like to think about it in terms of like how much time I'm spending at home versus at work and if I'm spending like eight hours at work and yeah like people will be like yeah but you still spend a lot of time at home and yeah you do but you spend like at least eight hours of that sleeping so it's not like you're spending that time doing like something that you want to do you're literally trying to catch up on sleep so the fact that you spend such a big chunk of your time at work I don't know just something about that doesn't sit right with me and so I've just been kind of struggling a bit with like the transition from being a student to being like you know a full-time employee but yeah foundation's done now I'm gonna do concealer I like that now I'm gonna do bronzer okay and just gonna do a little bit I I just want to do a little bit bronzer is still something new um I don't like bronze or contour or whatever I just don't do those things I just I don't know how to and I can get really overwhelmed by these things so I kind of just don't do them um, so I'm still kind of getting used to the fact that now I do. Like I do do it sometimes, not all the time, but it's still really intimidating. But we're gonna do it just a wee bit on our like high points, cheekbones. That's good enough, I think. Don't need to do any more than that. Okay, we like that. Now, the next thing I want to do is blush. Okay, that's great. Now I'm going to do highlight. Okay. We just want to add a little bit of shine and shimmer, nothing too crazy. There we go. And I think now is the most important part, like something that kind of puts it all together which is rare beauty um setting spray i've been using this thing since i got it literally i've been using it every day i use it even like when i have minimal makeup on it makes everything look so beautiful so i'm gonna use that i shit forgot to use setting powder okay i'm gonna let this sit and i'm gonna use second setting powder and then i'm gonna do another spray of setting spray okay yeah that's fine okay now let's do eyelashes right right but also um <laughs> eyeliner okay let's see You know, I'm properly convinced that my eyes, both of my eyes have like a different shape because I can never, ever, ever, ever 
get my eyeliner to look the same on both sides. I just can't. This is perfect. And then you have this one, which is just... Okay, mascara. Sky high, whatever, whatever. I love this thing. I've been using this thing like forever. This is my second time buying it because I just love... The way it looks. Look at that. Love it. Okay. Cute. Okay. So, I'm gonna put my powder now because I forgot to put it ahead of time. And just gonna pat that into like places where I get oily. So, my under eyes and also another thing that's quite interesting about this concert is that it's a sitting concert and I've been to concerts before but I always go to like standing concerts I've never like sat down for a concert which is I find that to be a bit odd because if I'm there to like dance and Kind of enjoy the music i want to stand up and i want to um you know like cheer on and just kind of vibe and i don't know how to do that like while while sitting down this is my first time i'll find out and i'll let you guys know um but having said that now that i'm getting older honestly i really appreciate the fact that i can just sit when i'm tired because the last time i was at a concert after two hours of standing and you do have to stand quite a bit because the artist doesn't come right away there's like opening artists and then your artist comes so i think by like the two hours mark i was i was done i wanted to go home my back was killing me go home because my back was killing me and i was just not having fun you know um, that looks great. Look at how cute my eyes look. But I'm gonna put like something in my inner eyelid as well. Yep, that's beautiful. Let me just zoom you in again. You do the same on the other side. Alexa, what's the time? It's okay. You know, we're almost done and it's not even been like 25 minutes. I think that's really flipping impressive, if you ask me. You know what i'm actually like i'm so happy with this because i didn't know what i was doing obviously the look is not complete because i still need to do my lip color i'm not gonna do that right now because it's like so much time but i think i'm just gonna go with this um and then also like just do a overline with like a neutral kind of pink shade but that's it yep girlies we did it this is all us this is all me i keep looking in the viewer sorry but look at that that's the look obviously i'm gonna do my hair and everything and i'll show you kind of what the final look looks like right before i leave if i remember if i don't then i apologize okay i try my best i i just remember there's one more thing um on the under eyes Okay, my biggest problem with this, right, with putting mascara on my lower eyelashes is that 
it starts to transfer on my eyes and just makes a fucking mess and I don't like that that's me done I'm I got I got I got ready really, really re ooh, it's already happening I got ready I got ready really quickly but um yeah hi again we're back I just fixed my hair I've straightened it I've just curled them at the end a little bit and I'm gonna try this little thing here to give myself some volume at the top I don't even know if it's gonna work but we're gonna see and then I'm gonna change so this is the final look I put my lipstick on and you know, it, it looks like I've overfilled my lips, but honestly, when I actually line them to the size of my lips, it just looks, it just looks like this. And sometimes it's really like weird for me because I don't um, line my lips at all. I just put lipstick on and when I do line them, this is what happens and yeah, but it's giving, um, it's giving Kylie. Let me just show you in like this light as well. But thank you so much for watching and I'm going to share more like content like that with you. If you like, I really enjoy making these videos because I just feel like we're sitting down, we're chatting um, and it's just nice. So thank you so much for watching and yeah, bye.